Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on factorizing quadratics, and we're going to use a technique called split in the middle term. Now, this technique can be very useful for factorizing harder quadratics. So, quadratics in the form of perhaps 2x squared or 3x squared, 4x squared. Quadratics where there's a number in front of the x squared, a coefficient of x squared that's greater than 1. So, we're going to look at how to use this technique. So, first of all, our first question says factorize 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. So the first step of using the split in the middle term technique is to find the coefficient of the x squared, so the 2, and to find the constant on the end and to times those two together. So 2 times 10, so 2 times 10 is equal to 20. Okay, the second step. The second step is to look at the coefficient of x, and the coefficient of x is 9, positive 9, and we're going to look for the two numbers which will times together to give you that 20 and add together to give you 9. So the two numbers that will times together to give you 20 and add together to give you 9 will be 4 and 5, because 4 times 5 is equal to 20, and 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Okay, middle term is 9x. We're going to split it up into a 4x and a 5x. So let's write that down. So 2x squared plus 4x plus 5x. So that's still 9x plus 10. So we've just split up the middle term. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look for common factors on the first half of that expression. So the, the first two terms, the 2x squared plus 4x. And we're going to look for common factors on the second half of the expression, the 5x plus 10. Okay, so in terms of the common factors, if we look at the first half, we've got 2x squared plus 4x. Well, we can take an x out, or if we can, you know, an x is a common factor, and also a 2 is a common factor. So we can factorize it by taking 2x out, and then that would leave us with x, and then plus 2. The second half of the expression, we've got our 5x plus 10. Well, the common factor of 5x plus 10, well, that would be 5. So we can factorize, we can take a 5 out, and that will give us, because it's 5 positive 5, we're going to write plus 5, and then open brackets, x plus 2. And that's it. Okay, so we have uh, looked at the first half of the expression, we've taken out a 2x. We've looked at the second half of the expression, we've taken out a 5. And our last step, as you can see here, we've, in our brackets, we've got an x plus 2 and an x plus 2. And if you're using the split in the middle term technique, the contents of those brackets should always be the same. So what we're going to do is, because we have got uh, 2x times that and 5x times that, we can take the x plus 2 out as a common factor. And then we can just see what's left. So we would have 2x plus 5. And that's our answer. Our, if, we, if we were asked to factorize 2x squared plus 9x plus 10, our answer would be x plus 2, 2x plus 5. Now, so that some students and some teachers find that as a, a much quicker technique to factorize these harder quadratics than using inspection. Some teachers, some students love using inspection. Um, so it's just sort of finding the technique that works best. So let's have a look at another example and see, you know, as we do a couple more, whether they're going to get easier. So our next example. Our next question says factorize 3x squared plus 13x plus 4. So again, we're going to multiply the first, uh, the coefficient of the first term, the 3 the, of the x squared, by the constant on the end. So 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Next, we're going to look at the middle term, which is 13, and we're going to think of two numbers which times together to give you 12, and they'll add together to be 13. Well, if they're going to times together to be 12 and add together to be 13, that's going to have to be 12 and 1, because 12 times 1 is equal to 12, and 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. So that means we're going to split this middle term up, this 3x, into a 12x and an x. Now, uh, one thing I didn't mention in the last example is it doesn't actually matter which way around you, you do this. And actually, in this example, I'm going to show you that you, know, you can split it up into 3x squared plus 12x plus x plus 4. Or you could split it up into a 3x squared plus x plus 12x plus 4. And whenever you do this question, you'll get the same answer. So I just want to show you that as well in this example. Okay, so we have split up the middle term in one way. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the first half and the second half. So the first half of the expression, um, we have got 3x squared plus 12x. Well, the common factors there will be a 3x. So we're going to take out 3x, and that will give us x plus 4 if we factorize that by taking out a 3x and a 3x. And the second half of the expression, well, as you can see here, we've got x and 4. Now, x and 4, the only common factor of x and 4 would be 1. Um, there's no actual, you know, sort of, of you know, higher common factors than 1. So we're going to take out a 1. So 1 bracket x plus 4. That's why I'm sort of, you know, saying the word factorize loosely. I'm sort of looking for common factors. So x and 4, the common factor would be 1. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to we've got our x plus 4 and x plus 4 we're going to take that out to get x plus 4 3x plus 1. So what we've done is we've taken the x plus 4 out and we're left with the 3x and the 1 so that will go in the other bracket. So that's one way of doing it just showing you the other way it works as well so if I had 3x squared and I wrote plus x and then plus 12x and then our plus 4 so by writing the middle terms of the way around if we were to do it that way we would get our first half of it would become well it's the common factors of 3x squared and x would be x open brackets that would be 3x plus 1 and then the second half if we've got 12x and 4 the 4 is the common factors to so take that out and we get 3x plus 1 it's great we've got the same thing inside the brackets it's always reassuring take out the 3x plus 1 because that's what both brackets have so we'll take that out and that leaves us with x plus 4 and that's it so okay our quadratics are our brackets are the other way around but it's the same answer and uh, we can switch those around if we wish so this is show you that whenever you're using the split in the middle term technique um, it doesn't actually matter which way around you write them sometimes there'll be a bit of a an easier way sort of i've kind of preferred this second way because i didn't have the plus one but it doesn't really make much of a difference okay so our next question says factorize 3x squared plus 10x minus 8 so again we're going to multiply the coefficient of the x squared the 3 by the constant on the end which is minus 8 so 3 times negative 8 or minus 8 is equal to negative or minus 24 Okay, so the term in the middle is 10. So we're going to be looking for two numbers which add together to give you 10, the times together to be minus 24. Now, obviously, if they're times together to give you minus 24, one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. So uh, in this case, it's going to be 12 and negative 2 because 12 times negative 2 would give us uh, negative 24, but 12 plus minus 2 would give us our 10 in the middle, our 10x. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to split our 10x, our 10x up into 12x and minus 2x. So it will give us 3x squared plus 12x minus 2x minus 8. Okay, Let, again, let's consider the first half and the second half of this expression. So our first half and second half. Factorizing the first half would give us, so looking for the common factors, would be 3x. Taking that out would give us x plus 4 because 12x divided by 3x would be our 4. Okay, our second bit. Now we need to be a little bit careful here. Because it's a minus 2x minus 8, our common factor would be minus 2 or negative 2. So we're going to take a minus 2 out. When we take minus 2 out, we're going to be left with x. And minus 8 divided by minus 2, that's going to be uh, equal to 4. So plus 4. Because obviously if we were to expand this, minus 2 times x would be minus 2x. And minus 2 times 4 would be equal to minus 8. Okay, so we have... Uh, taken out or we have factorized they're taking out common factors of the first half and the second half both brackets are the same they're both x plus 4 which is fantastic just take the x plus 4 out now so x plus 4 out and that will leave us with 3x minus 2 and that's it so we were asked to factorize 3x squared plus 10x minus 8 our answer would be x plus 4 3x minus 2 okay and our last example um and we're going to do this example and see what we get here. So our next example is factorise 12x squared minus 23x plus 10, uh, plus 10. Now this one would be quite a tricky one if you were actually trying to do it using inspection because in your brackets could be a, a 6x and a 2x, a 12x and an x, a 4x and a 3x. Um, you know, there's lots of different combinations. So this technique, split in the middle term, it would help us do this quite quickly and easily. So multiplying the coefficient of x squared and the constant on the end, so 12 times 10 is 100 or 12 times 10 is equal to 120 looking at the term in the middle which is our 23 we're looking for two numbers which will times together to give us 120 and add together to give us minus 23 now if they're going to add together to be a negative and times together to be a positive that means they're both a negative so we're going to have negative uh, 15 and negative 8 because minus 15 times minus 8 is equal to 120 and minus 15 plus minus 8 will it give us our minus 23 Okay, so we're going to split our minus 23x into our 15x and our um, our minus 15x and our minus 8x. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to get 12x squared minus 8x minus 15x 
plus 10. Again, we could have done that the way around, it doesn't really matter. I've just chosen this way actually because the 15 and the 10 um, obviously have a, a common factor of five. Um, if I, you know, I could have done the eight, the, you know, it wouldn't, it doesn't really matter. Okay, um, looking at the first half and the second half of this expression, the first half is 12x squared minus 8x, and our second half is minus 15x plus 10. Right, so the first half, if we were to take out a common factor there, it's gonna be 4x, and that would then leave us with 3x minus two. And our second half, whenever we look at our second half, we've got um, minus 15x plus 10. Again, it's quite nice to have the contents of the brackets the same. Because this is a 3x, I'm gonna take out a minus five here. The reason I'm taking out a minus five is so that I leave a 3x inside the brackets. And if I was to take a minus five out, 10 divided by minus five would leave us with minus two. Okay, what's great there is the inside of the brackets are both the same. So if we take the 3x plus, or 3x minus two out, that would leave us with 4x minus five. And that's it. That's the expression factorized. You could expand and just double check your answer, but that's it. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna stop this video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a second video. I'll put it in the description on the YouTube or put it on Code Maps as well. So you can have a look at it uh, to show you why this works. It's just this video is getting a little bit long now and I don't want sort of to be too long on this one. And um, have a look at the other video to see the explanation as to why this video, or this technique split in the middle term works.